Hello everyone, this is Daniel Glenn. Today I want to talk to you about a new feature in SharePoint Online called SharePoint Page Difference Visualization. This is a new feature that was announced at Microsoft Ignite. And it's a long phrase, but really what it means is being able to see the changes that are made to SharePoint pages, not just listed in a, I can see versions, which has been a staple in SharePoint for a very long time. Version history has been utilized by page authors for a long time to be able to revert changes back to a stable state. However, now we are able to see those changes actually highlighted on the page. Not only that, but we're also able to see, was it added? Was it moved? Were things deleted? Let's jump in and I'll show you what I mean. So here I have my SharePoint homepage and I've got some really cool features on here, um, which is great. And I've edited this page a number of times. I want to kind of go back to, well, what did it look like when we were doing this in the old way or classic way, or we could still do it actually. But so I, I'm looking at this page. So here's my homepage. And I want to go to version history. So I just drop it down and I'm going to click on version history. And it's going to show me all of the versions for this page. I've I edited it recently, but then I had a bunch of edits when I was setting it up. But one thing that you'll notice when looking at this version history is there's no details as to what, what was changed. There is a comments section, but it's blank. And this comment section is for when you check in a page, a document or an item in SharePoint, you're able to add comments. Well, in this uh, scenario, I haven't been giving comments as to what I've been making, uh, the updates that I've been making to the page. So there are no items captured here. Let's say we go to one of these versions and I, let's say I want to view it. Okay, maybe that'll give me more detail. Well, I'm going to click on view. Nope, no details at all. Doesn't tell me anything about the updates that were made, the changes um, and, and how to revert them or what I'm even reverting to if I wanted to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at my page again. Now with this new update for the page difference visualization in SharePoint, I can go to page details here at the top uh, I just click on page details and a great thing about this as well is I'm not having to check out or edit the page to do this. I can do this without having to make any modifications. I'll click on page details and then I need to click on page history or version history, sorry, at the bottom. When I click on version history, I am then given this nice look of all of the versions that um, I have for this page. And you'll see straight away, uh, the current published version is 15. The difference between 15 and 14 is I edited the news, I edited sites, and I edited the countdown timer. Okay, so these are all web parts uh, on this page that I made edits to. That's great, but Daniel, where are the highlights? This is all about the visualization. Well. This is actually starting part of that visualization. I am able to visually see via the color coding on the left hand side, as well as this icon, what I did. Did I add it, edit or delete it? Let's take a look uh, maybe at this version 13 and it'll give it a little bit better detail. So on this version 13, I have edited, so it's yellow. I have a trash can. <laughs> Uh, and it's red here, showing me that I deleted a weather web part. I made some other changes. I moved this file viewer web part around a couple times. I edited the news again. And then I added a weather web part, and it's got the green next to it. So I'm visually giving indications as to what I did and what order I did. This is leaps beyond what we've been able to do uh, before in SharePoint. But that's, that's great, Daniel, but I want things highlighted. That's great. There is this toggle at the very top um, and it's called highlight changes on the page. 
when you toggle this, all of those changes that we're looking at are actually shown on the page here, okay? So, as you can see, the news section here is highlighted. This web part is highlighted in yellow, and it's got this the edit mark on it. I'll scroll down. This news area was edited as well. Remember, on the changes that we talked about or showed you before, it said added a weather web part. Well, that's over here on the right-hand side. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a blue background, but this is green highlighted um, and showing that it's been added. And here is the weather web part that was deleted. It's highlighted in red with a trash can on it. And then right below it is showing the move of the file viewer that uh, was showing in on the version history pane, um, showing that that has been moved there. So I hope you're as excited as I am about these page authoring tools that are available to us now in SharePoint Online. Being able to not only see the versions, we can revert those versions, we can delete those versions in that version history details pane, but being able to see what was exactly done and in what order, giving us visual cues, just highlighting it, giving those icons to be able to display, was it moved, edited, deleted, added, so that we can really understand, should we revert back or should we just keep this version or maybe check another version out uh, to see, is that the one we want to restore, if that's what we're trying to do. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you will please subscribe down below to my YouTube channel so you'll get all the updates that I publish here, as well as on my homepage at danielglenn.com. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye for now.